Hello, my name is Christina Collett. I am a sales director with Mary Kay, and I'm really excited to share with you our brand new contouring sticks. So if you ever wanted to know how to contour like the pros, that is what I'm going to show you today. So I kind of, um, I just wanted to compare for myself, like the regular, normal, everyday way that I have been contouring, and that is with our contouring powder here in my cheek zone and up into my hairline. It is really helpful to contour your hairline, especially me. I have a larger forehead, so hopefully you can tell the difference. I'm contouring that area there. In your fish face, everybody can make fish face. Mm. Ear to lip, ear to lip is kind of that line where you want to contour. And then right under the jawline helps with that too. And then I kind of have a wider nose, so I like to contour right there along the sides. And I do the other side too, but this side I'm going to do with the new sticks. And then we'll compare. And then of course I always blend that out <laughs> with a little mineral powder, which is a foundation that we have in Mary Kay too that I absolutely love. So I'll go right over those contoured areas with our ivory too, and just to make it all look seamless. This on here. Okay. So, in our new look closet, if you are a customer first, you would have just gotten um, this week. It talks about these new um, three contouring and well, two contouring and highlighting stick. So I'm going to use the Sculpt Number One shade. So there's a lighter and a darker contouring shade. So our beige and bronze customers would love to use the Sculpting Two and um, Ivory to lighter beige. I want to use the Number One, and so it has me contouring again around my hairline here. It shows just some broken lines. That ear to lip, about halfway. And what I do love about these, even if you just blend it with your finger, they are going to blend right away. And I kind of bring this, blend this into my hairline right here too. And then they have it right here again along the jawline to lift that. And then for the highlighter, which is a beautiful rose gold glow is what it's called. We're going to highlight right here and I didn't do any cheek color, but a few dots right here, the top of my cheekbone and also right here on my brow bone. Hopefully you can see that. And that says use a blending brush or a sponge. And I'm usually partial to our blending brush, which I love, love, love. I'll move that off a little bit because I did use it to apply my foundation. This is a velvety soft brush that I use with my foundation. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. So we do have an awesome sponge too that would work. But I'm going to try the blending brush. So that looks kind of crazy. But let's see. Just keep using little short strokes because I want to blend it into my hairline. Just like I do with the powder. I'm going to take this forward. Um, these sticks are inspired, which I love, from our theater. So they allow, and I've, I've done theater, my sisters really spend a lot of time in the theater, and um, they really do contour a lot. If you want to make somebody look older or younger or make yourself look like you have cleavage, you can take sticks or makeup like this. And it's just faster and easier in a stick form to give yourself those contours to make things appear further away or closer. If you're doing highlight, make things appear closer and your so I'm going to finish that off with just my finger, blending that back. Powder side, the new stick side. Okay, don't really think. And then I am going up for uh, just use a sponge here, just gently blend that little highlighter up there around my eye. Get you a little brightness. Oh, and I'm blending a little. Okay, blend over here. I'm going to leave the center lighter. All right, I'm gonna take this as a brush that I do some um, concealer with, like a lighter concealer. I'm just blending this line all over here. What do you think? Honestly, I mean, I don't tell a huge difference. Let me blend this side like I did the other with a little bit of my mineral powder. But really, I like it. I almost like the shade a little bit better. I really like the highlighter. Oh, I forgot to do my nose. I'll have to do that. stick down my nose look like this since I want a smaller um, area there let's see oh I'm gonna use a smaller dark creamy color brush I'm gonna blend right down my nose there and down the side
I'm gonna blend that away. It's coming out a little pink to me, but that could be um, an accidental brush that I didn't know was there. There you go. <clears throat> so our new two sculpt one, sculpt two, highlight for contouring sticks, and a new rose gold highlighting stick. Very, very pretty. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.